Molly. So funny story, just put my hands down. I was painting a little bit ago, put my hands down and got them all in the paint. So um, I'm going to do, I had just done um, one you'll probably see a few days before that was a beautiful Dutch pour in pinks and greens and yellows um, and blue. And I wanted to do another one, but with that flower technique. So I'm just gonna kind of go for it um, and we'll see what happens. I am gonna mix a little bit more white acrylic paint in my mixture so that it's a little bit thicker so that I don't get any of that kind of clouding cracking. So fingers crossed. So I'll see you in a second. Phew, it is really hot here in Florida right now. Okay, so I have my blues. Let me come over on this side. So what I did was I took this spatula and I spread the white all around. This came with my cake stand that's in my um, store. Let me torch these bubbles out. And then what I did was came back through with the blow dryer and then blew out the center. Cause sometimes, even if the canvas isn't sagging, more paint pools in the center. And that was really, you know, with this technique specifically with this mixture of semi-gloss house paint um, or wall paint, when you pour it over, the white will engulf it if it's very thick. The colors will just kind of sink through cause I've got a lot of water in there. And I don't want that, so. I don't want my puddles to be too big. Let me see, what did I do last time? I think I did the blue next to the green. And then I'll do the pink. Oh, I think I did gold last time actually, whoops. Now I'm gonna put the gold next to the yellow and I don't want that. All right, I thought somebody was playing a trick on me, but nope, my battery died. So I'm glad that I came over and checked. I was gonna take the camera down and show you guys how these cells form just from me blowing the white over. And I realized that you weren't video recording. So thank goodness I'm just right here. So I'm gonna put you back, hold on one second. And now we can keep recording, so. I'm gonna blow this out. Um, I'm super excited about the way that it looks. I'm just blowing this slow because I want to get that cell reaction. And I wanna push the paint forward. See how it's pushing that paint forward? It's the angle of my blow dryer, that's what I want. stretches those cells out and gives that really nice reaction. So I'm actually super happy about this. I got what I wanted. The rest I can blow out with my mouth, that's no problem. Really pretty cells in here. This one I'll blow back out this way to kind of meet it just a little bit. Stretching those rainbows out. see if the paint just kind of flows off that end there. I liked 
the lines through here though, so let me figure out what I want to do here. I want to blow up this way. And then down that way. out just a little bit. I'm going to use my straw. I've had a lot of people say, well, you never do it on camera. So I'll do it on camera. If you guys want to fast forward, feel free. I'm going to blow this little part out right here. All right, so this part, Wow, I'll show you guys all those pearlized cells that are popping up. I literally love this mixture. I don't like how spiky this is, and it's because there I don't have any more white to go around it. Um, I don't know, a couple spikes are cool, but not that much. So some people say, why do you use your mouth instead of a straw? And if I can reach it, I like to use my mouth because I get a wider blowing field. Wow, there was a lot of color up under there. All right. did there was just put my blow dryer on cool and my blow dryer it's a Revlon blow dryer like cheap one it blows higher on cool so that's why I did that little spiky parts that pop up. I'll show you. I got a couple of them over here. All right. Well, I'm going to keep blowing this out just a little bit, but just so that you guys got an idea of how I did it, but I really like this one too. So let me show you. And sorry, the very beginning is gone, but those are, let me autofocus you. Those are my cells. Those are the center. That flower is a little bit wonky, this one on this side. But I really like the circular center of that one and how it's blown out. Let me see. That spiky thing I don't like. I'm Here, let me take off the autofocus. That spiky thing right there I don't like. But I love the center. And all those cells around it, they're crazy. There's no silicone in here. That is my mixture of house paint and acrylic paint that creates that effect and water. All right, you guys. Well, there it is. Sorry, got a little bit of a shadow there, but I love this piece. You guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye. Okay, back for the dried result of this one. It's still just ever so slightly wet in the center, but look 
at the explosion of beautiful cells that came up. This is definitely from my mixture of, I don't want to make you dizzy, of that semi-gloss house paint and regular acrylic paint. Wow. I, again, am in love with this one. It's a two foot by three foot. I'm so happy with it. I'm so excited. I love the little rainbow colors, the pastel kind of colors that came through right there. I love it. You guys can let me know what you think. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.